So here at PsyQ, we have an awesome intern named Janina, and Janina has an awesome mother. Now this video today is for Janina's mother, because Janina's mother thinks that microwaves cause cancer. So we're going to delve into the science behind microwaves and if they really do have any long-lasting health impacts on humans. Now it can be understandable that microwaves might have some sort of health impacts because let's face it, we put our food into the microwave and then we nuke it and then when we take it out it's hot. So something's happening there. We don't really understand how the microwaves are impacting the food and if they're escaping the box and impacting us. Now it's totally reasonable to wonder if microwaves might cause cancer. Other types of waves cause cancer like ultraviolet waves, x-rays and gamma rays. So what makes microwaves different from those harmful types of rays? How different are microwaves from gamma rays or nuclear waves? Let's face it, when we talk about microwaving something, we often call it nuking our food. So are microwaves using some sort of nuclear power? Well, to understand how microwaves work, first we need to understand the electromagnetic spectrum. You can see on the far left of the electromagnetic spectrum are large waves, like radio waves. Now, radio waves, because they're so large, are also easily blocked which is why we can have a problem with interference if you're trying to listen to your radio in a basement, for example. Across a little bit further are microwaves. Now microwaves are smaller than radio waves, but not as small as light waves, like ultraviolet light. Because of their size, microwaves are also easily blocked. So the box around a microwave is an effective barrier, stopping the microwaves from reaching a human. You can test this yourself. Microwaves cause vibration of water molecules and that vibration is what releases heat. So when we put our food in a microwave, it gets hotter because the water molecules are vibrating. If the microwaves were escaping the microwave box, then all the food around the microwave would be heating up as well. So you can test if your microwave is leaking microwaves by putting a chocolate bar on the top of your microwave and seeing if it melts. Hint, it probably won't. We only get into trouble when we get into the smaller end of the electromagnetic spectrum, things like ultraviolet light, x-rays and gamma rays. Because of the small size of these waves, they can penetrate through other things more easily. Not a good enough reason to use the word penetrate. X-rays can penetrate easily through human flesh, but not so easily through human bones. And that's how we get the image that we get when we take an X-ray. If we really were concerned that microwaves were going to cause cancer, we'd also have to be concerned about other waves like visible light and the radio waves that are all around us. Fortunately, these things are completely harmless to humans. So there you go, Janina's mum. So don't worry, you can stand as close to your microwave as you like, and I promise it won't cause you any harm. So that's one psych you myth busted for today. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions that you'd like us to address. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching PsyQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.